My name's Parker. I'm Devin. And this is what's cooking at Arapaho. Today we're going to be doing a quick short segment on avocados. Avocados are a great source of protein as well as fat and fiber. You know, so if that fiber bar isn't doing its job, turn to the avocado. That's, that's a great point to put out there, Devin. So if you need, if you're feeling a little congested at home, the avocado will always be there for you. Anyways, moving on, I'm going to teach you first how to slice open the avocado for all of you inexperienced avocado slicers. Um, we're going to take the knife. This is a nice Fade Farber, Farber Wear knife um, provided by Mr. Anderson. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. Um, and we're going we're gonna to slice it, aren't we, Devin? We are. We're going to slice it the long way on the avocado. Great. Don't, don't, don't slice it. Don't, don't, don't slice don't it. Don't be that person. Don't be that person. So we're going to slice it, start to slice it, but remember folks, there is a pit inside, so don't try and slice too hard. That's, that's never a good thing. You're going to make your way 360 degrees around the avocado um, until you reach a point where you have sliced completely all around, um, and then you're going to then you're gonna split it open. Now the trick is, do you know what the trick is for getting the pit out, Devin? Slash with the knife. I'm, I'm actually gonna give you Oof. give you the jaw. Okay. You gonna take take the knife here. Oh. oh. Oh, and you just cut the avocado. Oh man, what'd you what you did you nice do? Insane. I got the uh, pit out. Did the job. Cut a little bit, but here. Oh, thank you, thank you. Steph Curry with the shot, boy. Anyways, moving on. I I made that also. Um, Devin, I'm gonna give you the side that you. Didn't slice just because I'm a nice guy. Thanks. Um, Thanks I'm gonna be placing cayenne pepper today on on my slice of the avocado. I'm gonna go with some pepper and some sea salt. Classic. That, that, that's a great choice, Devin. I really respect that. Not as not as crazy as as cayenne pepper, but still respectable. respectable. All right. Well, so we're gonna we're gonna put this on for just a second. Um, I will be right back. No, oh, this just isn't doing the job. Let's see if we can get the lid off the top of here. Oh, there we go. Lid is off the top. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, oh, that's oh, looking, oh. That's looking precise. That is, oh, look at that. Oh, can we get a close up here, Chase? Um, this right here. There's probably a good amount of there. I, I mean, you can see it moving around. Um, there's, there's quite a bit there. This is uh, a salt and pepper avocado. You know, you see the crushed up pepper. Devin, that is that is so good looking. It's so good looking. It's beautiful looking avocado. Great. So now we're, we're gonna we're gonna chow down on these avocados. Um, take a few good bites. Not my traditional coconut, um, but uh, that's okay. It's an avocado. On your avocado. I put coconut on everything. Here's this good bite. Ready? Mm -hmm. Ready? No. How's that? Cayenne. I think I got more cayenne than avocado. <laughs> Excuse me for speaking with my mouth full. You know. Not proper etiquette. I should have known better. <coughs> it's avocado. Ah. It's pretty good. Mm. Mm. Wow. It's a great source of uh, protein, Sorry. like Parker said. Four grams of protein per avocado. Quite some spice. <laughs> How you doing there, buddy? For all of those viewers out there that have not a very good tolerance for spices, I would definitely suggest no cayenne pepper for you. Um, personally, myself, I'm more of a medium spicy guy on Buffalo Wild Wings. So if you're anywhere lower than that, I would definitely not suggest a cayenne, cayenne pepper. Um, wow. Do you, do you want a bite of that, Devin? I'm okay. I think I'm, you're I'm more of a pass. mild guy. I like the but traditional kind of really <coughs> simple. Well folks, that's what we have for you this week on What's Cooking. 